All right, wiring up this old house. Been working out for quite some time. Should have got more video on, but I did. But what we're doing right now is I had a furnace issue after I left. And the furnace was dying out, wasn't doing very good. It was still on the old wire. So before class, I hurry up, came down here, ran this wire from an independent breaker to the furnace and got its own power so it wasn't no longer having the power feed problem that I was having. Thing is that this wire I had already cut for running to the bathroom. It's a number 12 wire for 20 amp service. And you don't need 20 amp going to the furnace. So I'm gonna go ahead, drill my holes, run my number 14 wire to the furnace, because it's only a 15 amp furnace, and uh, pull the wire back down off here and run to the first floor bathroom. So what I'm doing right now is creating the holes necessary to run that wire and numerous other wires. I use a three quarter inch spade bit. Now for a while, a lot of the stuff in this house was wired like that. <laughs> you can see some of the newer ones. The newer stuff is the stuff that Nick's been working on. And, ow, too low. <laughs> this box right here is what he installed. I gotta tell you, it's a lot better than it was. It was more stuff like that, but you know, now it's, it's one of the problems is that they had a lot of brownouts here. So uh, by replacing a lot of these old wire wires, you know, it's the problem seems to be going away. They're also able to actually turn on a washer and, and uh, multiple appliances on at once without having any problems. There's gonna be feeding a lot more wires through here. I didn't do anything. The light switch. Let's shift the light switch. Let's stop. Yeah, it's just a light switch. Yes, at least they're remembering to turn it off. Just wish they don't remember to turn it off while we're downstairs. We're down, yeah, we're using it. Thanks. I just assume that they left the lights on because they do that every day. I'm like, why would they? They just saw us down here. Hand me the hammer, Richard. Oh, maybe I touched something. I was like, oh, no. What, what now? <laughs> Run a new 15 amp for your furnace, taking down the 20 amp, putting a 20 amp cross, going to your first bathroom, rewiring that, taking that big cluster of wires, getting one circuit off that, and whatever else I can get done.
doing all this, of course, with no power going through the circuit. A lot of people they like to tape their wire nuts, which is good practice, but in this old house, with all the problems that's having, I'm not taping anything so I know for sure that all these circuits and everything are all correct and where I want them and that's not having any more issues. Otherwise you're cutting tape, retaping, cutting tape, retaping and kind of pointless. Now this house originally didn't have any ground <laughs> and now it has a ground so I don't have to ground it to the box anymore because the conduit's obsolete and not needed anymore. So that brings us back down. Why don't we get rid of this one? Alright, one thing I want to also teach you guys, if you guys never messed with breaker box before, if you look here, that's your breaker switch. When you turn it off, if you ever have to change this bed, off and keep going, so you guys can see it, is off, literally. If you keep pushing off towards the off position, your breaker will come out. Once this is out, there's no power going to it. That power bar is not connected no longer. This is safe to work on and change out. Never change your breaker. Never take the wire off your breaker while it's still in the box. Take it off and then change it. Now we just add this one in for the furnace. And uh, well, I guess I'll also show you when you put it on, when you flip on, it'll, this direction will snap it on too. So off, off, the hinge it back on. And push it down and on, it's on. But it's a little quick tidbit.